Oh, oh. Wow. Hello. Today is December 2nd. Um, so today is a boring ass video. I'm not doing anything today. All I did today was wake up. Well, no, you'll see in the video actually. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing and then show you what I did. Uh, so this is the intro. Hi, welcome. I hope you enjoy. The next clip is right after I woke up and I started cleaning. Enjoy. Who the heck did this? I don't think my dog did this. But I'm gonna clean this up real quick. Just finished. I just finished. This is how it looks now. Trust me, it's way cleaner. Seen it before, you know. Hello. Wow. I will never not look like a mess on here. But after I finished cleaning the backyard, um, my sister made some huevos con weenies, so I had some of that. And after that, um, I f took them to school, and I just got home. I literally left the house like at 9.08, 9.10, and it's 9.53. It's because one sister lives like all the way that way, and then I have to come all the way back this way, and then go more that way to take the other one. So, they live pretty far from me. I mean, they go to school pretty far from each other, but I took them. They're there. I'm home now. I'm good. Um, so, now I'm just going to clean a little bit of the house. Because then my mom said, no, I no, guys, say nada, we want us. I don't say no, say algo. So I'm going to clean the house. I already cleaned up the backyard. Um, I already, the, my sister had uh, took out the trash from the, oh, I can't talk. My sister took out the trash from the kitchen before she went to school. And when I took the girls, I took the two bags of trash uh, bags the two bags of trash that I collected from the back and I took out the trash from the restroom so the restroom trash is um como se dice? Yo lo saque. so now I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of the living room because there's things everywhere and like the sillon is there when it's supposed to be right here but we move it because the calentón lo va a quemar so I'm gonna put that there now that I'm, I don't have the calentón on and wash the poquitos dishes that are in the sink all while I watch Hannah Montana, so. Stay tuned, I guess. I'll see you later, I don't know. Just, just bye. I just got to work. I'm here from 12 to six. So that should be very, very fun. I work at an elementary school, so. I work with kinder all the way up to sixth grade. <laughs> it's a headache waiting to happen. Um, hold on. As I put my keys away. Point is, it's going to be a long day. Um, I'll talk to you when I get out of work. I don't know if I'm going to go over to my cousin's surprise birthday after this. But you will see. So I'll see you after work. Guys. I don't know why I'm whispering. There's no one here. Oh, snap. It is. There's someone over there. And there's a car approaching. Hold on. Okay, guys. So, yeah, you're in la casa. And no sé si le dije. No sé si les dije que ya estoy en la casa, pero ya estoy en la casa. And, um, cuando llegué, llegué con bien mucho hambre. Me estaba, estaba comiendo de todo, like, um, ayer mi, mis hermanas hicieron, um, macaroni and cheese. So, ahora tenía antojo de comer macaroni and cheese. So, me hice, cocí una caja de macaroni and cheese. Ay. So, I made a box of macaroni and cheese. And then, after that... 
I was still like, I wanted something else. And so I made, what else did I eat? After my macaroni and cheese. Oh, there was like this bean dip that I wanted to eat like a few days ago that I never did. So I ate um, bean, the bean dip with like um, tortilla chips. And then after that, I was like, I saw the apple pie that we never ate on Thanksgiving. So I was like, hmm. And I ate a slice of apple pie. Oh my god, I'm such a freaking fatty. And right now, I can still eat more. Like, I still, todavía quiero comer, quiero, tengo ganas de algo más, pero no sé qué. Pero, por ahorita ya lo voy a Guys, hold on. I'm just gonna lower down Al and I. So, I literally have the chills right now. I don't know what the hell was that. I'm gonna roll the last part that just happened over again okay pero por ahorita ya lo voy a okay so no i don't think i've mentioned this before but i live in my parents garage okay my parents house is up there i live in the back in the garage and the way the house the garage is set up is that it's like it's the garage a square right it's cut in half and the half of the garage is a wall so half of the garage is my room half of it is storage so when you walk into the garage it's the storage where my mom and my dad have a whole bunch of crap a whole bunch of tools like and then in the in the wall that's splitting um, the garage there's a sliding door okay well, um, I was recording this, you, the phone was on top of my cajon, and it was leaning on my TV, and, um, the, the door is right here, right next to me, to my left, as you can tell in the video, and something hits the glass door, and I, when you, in the video, you can see me just, like, look, and just look at it. And then, like, cut it. Because, I'm going to show you guys. So, I have four curtains. Two butterfly ones and two uh, white ones in the middle. Well, the white ones, you can see through. They're see-through. And so, I was like, I, I don't know what the hell hit it. Like, as soon as that happened, I was, I was up there. And I crawled, I walked my ass all the way back over here to the, like, across the room from where, where the glass door is. And I don't know. And I called my sister. I was like, hey, did you come into the garage? Did you know if anybody came into the garage? And she was like, no, nobody came in there. Nobody went in there. And I was like, and I was, I started crying because I was so scared after she said that. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm told, I told her I'm panicking a little bit. I'm scared. Like, Something just hit the glass door, and I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if something fell over, or what the hell. But I'm just telling you guys because it literally scared the shit out of me, and I'm scared to go and look because I live in such a bad neighborhood, and the house next door to us on the left side was abandoned for a long time and a lot of homeless people were in and out a lot of drug people um drug dealers were in the house like they were in and out and stuff um one time this druggy guy and his girlfriend i think were fighting and their backpack ended up in our yard and he almost hopped the fence and but 
thank God for my dog because he and no se animó. He didn't want to jump over just because my dog looks very very scary. So I'm happy that he didn't. He ended up pulling out his backpack with like a, a stick or something, and then right behind us. So it's like the street, the house, the garage, our backyard and stuff. And then behind our house, like the gate where our house is, there's an alley. So homeless people and just people in general, well, not really people in general, more, more, le more homeless people than anything, walk behind there. So truth be told, I I don't feel safe when I walk from my house to my gr to the garage to my room. I don't feel safe. For the longest, ever since I moved into the garage, I always felt like somebody was watching me all the time. I always, always feel like somebody's watching me when I come into the garage or when I go back into the house. Like, and every time, the first thing I do when I walk into the garage is turn on my flash and I, I like put my flash up to see the side of the garage because just to see if anybody's there like dug down, hidden or anything. I always shine my flash and look because I am so paranoid that some cuz I'm I'm just just so paranoid that somebody snuck over into our yard and got into a garage and just just waiting for us for me and my sister cuz me and my sister share the room. And I always do that and actually this time I I didn't do that. The fr one time for the first time ever that I don't turn on my flash and look over is the time that something hits the freaking glass door. I'm so freaking scared. I told my sister to come because I do not want to see. Like, it could be someone or it could not be. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just... She texted me. I'm going to answer her, so I'll update you right now. And I have to pee. So one way or another, I'm going to have to get out the house of this room. Because I don't have a restroom in my room. Okay, I'll keep you updated. Bye. Okay. So, I, I'm leaving my house. And this is my backyard. Okay? I always check. This house used to be vacant forever. Like... Okay. You see my puppy? He's in his house. The alley is on that side. This is the garage the door i always always turn on my flash i turn we turn on the light now because my sister turned on the light but every time i come in here i always turn on the flash and i always check to see if anybody is in here so this is the garage part this is the door and that's my room and this box this box is what made me cry we think because it didn't sound like a knock it didn't sound like something pushed. It sounded like it sounded like that. So let's try. Well, this is kind of. I'm trying to see like how it would sound. I don't know. It sounded like it bang. It didn't sound like that box hit it. You know what I mean? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Anyways. I'm going to end the night by watching YouTube videos, keeping the other light on, straining my hair because tomorrow I have jury duty and I am not a morning person and I hate doing my hair in the morning. So I'm going to have it straight tonight and so tomorrow I can just touch it up and I can arrive on time because tomorrow is my first time I ever do jury duty. The last time I was summoned, I skipped it. I passed. I said, no, thank you. And this time, me mandaron una carta diciendo que si no voy, I'm, I could have either a court hearing, do some time, or even be fined. So I don't want that. So a huevo tengo que ir mañana. And I'm very intimidated because I don't know what to do. I don't know. I've never done it before. So I'm really scared. I'm really nervous. But I'm hoping for the best. So I'm going to shade my hair right now, get everything. I'm going to find an outfit. I don't even know what to wear. So I'm going to try to figure that, all that out tonight and then tomorrow I'll be back with another video and show you how that goes because it's an experience for me. Um, I'll see you tomorrow and thank you so much for watching. Bye!